some students face this problem of not being able to uh, come out with the right answer on the spot. They are aware about it. They have read about it. They know about it, but uh, their mind just is not able to process things in that kind of environment at such a speed. So, how would you, if you had a problem like that, how would you have developed that? I wish I had an answer to this question, <laughs> but honestly, I don't have. The point is that all of these exams, especially at the interview stage, uh, do demand a lot of luck and uh, comfort. I mean, the comfort level with the panel and the familiarity you have with that particular question at hand. Maybe aware of hundred questions, but the hundred first question which you're not aware of if you're asked, then that may lead to a problem. So I guess there's a lot of subjectivity and uh, uh, to put it bluntly, luck involved in that. So. I really don't know one thing uh, which we can uh, which can help us more practice 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 with uncomfortable tricky questions in all yes. phases. Hmm. Hmm. I think that is where the answer lies. Uh, we are coming back to the same end. The problem is that we don't know. Uh, normally, we don't know how to uh, you know prepare ourselves for the interview other than taking mocks. Uh, but I think because of technology, the fact that we can record ourselves. Recently, recently I experimented with some students, and uh, I asked them to keep recording themselves every day. Ask themselves, let's say, ten questions out of the blue, uh, which they might not be aware of the answers of, and record themselves, and and then to see their own recording and figure out what are the problems, how are their facial expressions changing, how is their voice changing, and I think that helped those people in cracking the examination as well. So I think that is one way of practicing that can help, uh, just like a mock interview, but with yourself. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense actually.